Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today's project is going to be some mixed media using the new Paper Artsy stamps. So the first one is set A26. These are five sheep. And the second one is EKC20. Then we have two new stencils. The first one is PS070 and the second one is PS097. So first of all, I'm using my layer perfect tool just to measure out my card bases. So next I'm going to use my Mermaid Lagoon Distress Paint and I'm going to use my brayer to apply the paint onto my cardstock. I'm going to do the same with the picked raspberry distress paint on my second two cards. Going back to my first blue card, I'm going to use the Cracked Pistachio Distress Paint to add my second layer of paint with the brayer. I'm now going to use the mustard seed distress paint with the pink paint that I did earlier. I'm now going to use said A26 paper artsy stamps. These are new to me and I'm going to use my jet black archival ink to stamp the images onto the painted card. Now archival ink is the best ink to use on top of paint. Next I am going to use my Onyx Black Versafine ink pad which is a very juicy detailed ink pad which is great for all your stamped images. The reason why I don't use this ink pad over the top of the paint is because it won't dry properly so the archival ink is better on top of paint whereas the Versafine ink is much better for doing your stamped images straight onto cardstock. Moving on, I am now going to use my archival ink Fern Green and I'm using the stencil PS097 and I'm just using my blending tool to do the stalks of the flowers on the stencil. I am now going to use Red Geranium archival ink to do the flower heads. I am now using one of the stamps from EKC20 Paper Artsy Stamps and I'm using my archival jet black ink to stamp this image onto the card. So as you can see I've missed a bit of the stalks at the bottom so I'm going to use my Unipin fine line pen just to draw on the stalks at the bottom of the card. And as you can see when I've finished you'll never know the difference. 
I'm now going to use EKC20 Paper Artsy Stamps and I'm going to use my black archival ink to stamp the images on top of the paint. I'm now going to use my potting soil archival ink and I'm using a stencil called Dot Fade. I'm now going to use my Distress Ink Barn Door and I'm using my blending tool just to go around the outside edge of my saying. I'm now going to use my Vintage Photo Distress Ink to go around the outside edge of my card to give it a bit of a border. I am now going to use my Colour Soft Pencils to colour in my images. I am now using my Unipin pen just to go around the outside edge of the flowers. I am now using my Colour Soft pencils to colour in my sheep. I will just show you little bits and skip forward to the end. So I've gone ahead and cut out my sheep and I'm going to use my Faber Cascal Pit Pen, the dark sepia, to go around the outside edge of my sheep. This is so you can hide the whiteness of the um, cardstock and it makes it look a lot neater. And here I'm using my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick my sheep to my card base. I'm now using my Uniball Signo white pen to add some dots onto my sheep. So that is my first design all finished. As you can see, I've got two of them, one for the window display and one for inside the shop. So moving on to the yellow and pink painted card base, I'm going to use the ZA26 Paper Artsy Stamps and I'm using my Jet Black Archival Ink again. I am now using my Versafine Onyx Black ink pad to stamp my images onto my white cardstock. I am going to be using one of the stamps from the Creative Stamping Magazine issue number 60, which is the Happy Birthday, and I'm using my archival ink again to stamp this on top of paint. And moving on, I am now using the EKC20 Paper Artsy Stamps. Again, I'm using my archival ink as I am stamping over the top of paint. So moving on again, I had a idea for the leftover cardstock and I'm just using my Versafine ink pad to stamp the sheep onto the cardstock. 
as you can see I'm going to use four different sheep and I'm just stamping them at different angles onto the cardstock. So here I have used some post-it notes to stamp out the sheep again so that I can use them as a mask and here I'm just putting on the last one and I'm going to use the Paper Artsy Stamps EEG 15 and I'm using my Potting Soil Archival Ink. So when you first take the mask off it looks kind of busy but once you colour in the sheep it won't look as busy. So here I'm just using my colour soft pencils again and I'm just doing a light layer around the outside edge and I'm going to use my paper stump with my Sestit blending fluid just to pull the colour out to make it softer. So this is the sheep finished for the pink and yellow card base and again I'm using my Faber Cascal Pit Pen to go around the outside edge of the sheep to colour in the white edge of the cardstock to make it look neater and I'm using my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick my sheep to my card. So that is my second project all finished. So moving on to my third project, I am again using my Colour Soft pencils. I will just show you a little bit and skip forward so it doesn't get too boring for you. And so as by magic my third project is all finished. If you would like to buy any of the products I have used in this video they will be listed on my website blog post. I will leave a link in the description box below this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description box below or click on the end cards at the end of this video. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired.